Well, heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the U.S. And families can lose their loved ones without any warning. Our own Stacey Scheibel joins us now. She has a closer look at just how heart disease can really change lives, what, overnight? Absolutely. You've heard of sudden cardiac arrest. This is sudden cardiac death. Very important. It is the cause of half of all heart disease deaths. And I spoke to one Bay Area man who actually lived through it. I have no recollection of anything. A year and a half ago, Rick Peters' life literally changed overnight. He was asleep, but he was like hyperventilating a little. Felt him, and he was sweaty and cold. And I tried to wake him up, and there was nothing. Lisa didn't know it, but Rick had suffered sudden cardiac death. She immediately called 911. He wasn't responding. You know, it was bad. <laughs> And his head was like this, and I looked, and he's turning blue. So I said, oh, my, he's turning blue. And she, he says, you need to start CPR right now. Lisa didn't know how to do CPR, but she followed the 911 operator's instructions and continued until the EMTs arrived. Honestly, I didn't know he was having sudden cardiac death. I didn't know what was going on. But Rick wasn't responding. The EMTs in the other room say, it's been 16 minutes, call it ran into the bedroom and I said, Rick, you are not leaving. <laughs> I pretty much gave him an order. I was like, you've got work to do. You know, I can't do this without you and you are staying and you know, I'm putting my foot down. The EMTs kept working and got a pulse, but Rick crashed again and needed another 16 minutes of CPR before he could be transported to the hospital. And that's where Lisa received some bad news. His brain may have gone without oxygen for too long, and his organs are failing. <sighs> Doctors lowered his body temperature and put Rick in a coma for seven days. When he awoke, the damage wasn't permanent. I think everybody was surprised. I'm pretty sure. None of them thought he would ever yeah. well, doctor, be a hundred percent. Right. Doctor Cole has said that basically, you know, he he puts me in one of his big wing columns. He the, he says I don't get many, and, and you know, the, obviously fatality rate is very high, but he's he's uh, always using, <laughs> which I don't deserve, but he's using me as just an example of his success. But the one who really gets the credit, as I tell. Uh, Everybody, my wife saved my life. Lisa was, no. she did. She did. Don't let her say otherwise. And since then, they have welcomed two more grandchildren and are spending lots of precious time with family. And it is stories just like that one that draw thousands of people to Raymond James each year for the Tampa Bay Heart Walk. I'll be out at Ray J this Saturday, November 11th. It's Walk Day. And tomorrow we are hosting another all day Heart Walk telethon where you can score some great incentives for donating. To sign up for my team, just go to WFLA.com slash Heart Walk.